this one what I'm going to do is add the windows to the ground floor section of this house so let's get started so to begin I'm going to press 7 and just come up here next thing I want to do really is get the insertion point so I'm going to press Z and bring up wireframe I'm just going to zoom in here and select this window outline tab into edit mode I can press A once or twice to make sure everything is not selected and box select these verts I can press shift S and cursor to select it Okay, I'm going to tab back to object mode. I'm also going to press 1 for front view. Okay, and you can see the insertion point is on the ground. Now we could switch on the elevation. Okay, and we have position here, but I think the window actually gets inserted with quite a high offset. So I'm just going to leave it on the ground for the moment. So I'm going to switch back off the front elevation. I'm going to switch off the ground floor plan, and I'm also going to switch off ground floor. What I will do is click into layer 13, and I'm going to rename this to ground floor windows. I'll press enter. And I'm just going to switch on the visibility and switch off the ground floor doors. So the only layer that's switched on currently is the ground floor window. Okay, so with that, I'm going to come up to create and I'm going to choose window. Now for this, I'm just going to keep it nice and simple with an 80 by 80 flat. And just click this in. I can come back to my layers now and just switch back on maybe, well, the ground floor plan first off and my elevation. So front elevation and I can zoom in here. Okay, I can zoom in. What I need to do is just reselect this window because when the layers get switched back on, everything gets switched back on for some reason. Okay, so I'm going to come back over here. What I can do is just increase the width and just come out to my width in the outline. If I zoom in, I can fine tune this 2.9 meters. I can do the same thing then for the height and just increase this by left clicking. Okay, so what I can do then is re reduce the altitude. It's 1.2 meters. I'll drag this down here. Okay, I might just sit it there to match the opening. So that's pretty good there. And I'm going to increase then the height again. And that matches up pretty good. Wouldn't be too bad. I'm just going to press and hold the middle mouse button. I'm going to come back to solid. Okay, that looks pretty good there. Okay, I'm going to switch off the front elevation for a moment. Okay, I'd be happy enough with that now. So what I'm going to do is, there's a couple of things we can do. We can add a portal to this. So I'm going to click portal. Now this is just when we're rendering. It's easier than having to do this manually. What it's doing is it creates a dotted line here, which basically lets Blender know that this is a window and there's going to be light shining in. What I might do with this selected is just tab into edit mode and select maybe the front four verts and just drag them out just to increase that width. Okay, I'm going to tap back to object mode. Okay, so with this window, there's going to be another one of these at the back. So what I'm going to do is on window presets, I'm just going to click plus and rename this to large front back window. Okay, and press enter and click OK. And if I come around to the back here, select this section, tab into edit mode, press 7, come into top view. Might be easier. Zoom in here. I'm going to press 8 once or twice to deselect everything. Box select this, press Shift S, cursor to select it. I can tab back to object mode. I am going to switch off the visibility then of the ground floor plan. And on the create tab, I'm going to choose window. And I'm going to pick this one here, which is my large front back window. I can come back around here. And you can see the light portal is pointing outwards. So we do need to rotate this. I'm going to switch back on my ground floor plan just so I can get, get a position. Okay, I'm just going to zoom in here. I'm going to press RZ180. Press enter, tidies that up there. I think that should be okay. There's three more windows to be added. So I'm gonna go ahead and add one here, here, and here. I'm not gonna be adding windows to this using Archipack. We're gonna go ahead and use Archi Mesh for this because they have a different type of window that suits down here. I'll go ahead and I'll add the next couple of windows using the same process as this. Now, one thing I will do, I'm just gonna switch back on the ground floor before I continue. If I select this wall again, the external, I'm going to come up here to tools and down to auto boolean. Okay, and that subtracts my window. So I can just zoom in and make sure everything is okay. Okay, it looks okay front and back. Yeah, okay, that's going to be fine. Like I said, I'm just going to go ahead and add in the remaining windows. Okay, so with the rest of these windows added, I'm going to switch back on the visibility of the ground floor. And if I select the external wall, I can come up here to tools and down here to auto boolean. Okay, and that subtracts the windows from the walls. Okay, so that's pretty good. I can come back to layers, switch back on my doors. Okay, and that's not looking too bad. And I think that's going to do it for this one.